Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Parker and you're watching In The Clinic, Maine's only TV program dedicated to answering your medical questions and bringing you up-to-date information in healthcare. Well, In The Clinic was recently featured live at the Portland Health Expo. Stay tuned to hear what Pat from Gorham wanted to find out. Don't go away. I have spinal stenosis uh, as well as a terminal disease and one of the options they gave me was to have a steroid injection for my back. However, I heard in the news the question that a lot of people had terminal meningitis from the leaf mold that somehow got into the steroids. Should I have the steroid injection at this point in time? Well, Pat, the risk period for contracting fungal meningitis from tainted steroid injections has ended since the drugs were recalled back in September, but the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention still warns of the threats for new case reports. Nearly 9 million Americans received steroid injections for back pain. The contaminated medication was from needles tainted by a fungus during manufacturing. Fungal meningitis is not contagious, but early symptoms do include headaches, fever, and a stiff neck. It is recommended for anyone who has received a steroid injection in the spine since July should check with their doctor to see if it is from that tainted source. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, just visit the address on the screen below. Remember, you can post your questions or comments or become a fan to receive weekly medical updates. For In the Clinic, I'm Dr. Ryan Parker.